Hello everyone, it's Donna and I've had another request uh, to do a video on like outlining. Um, so I'm going to do this um, video and hopefully it will answer some questions. So I've got this uh, little carrot design here and I'll hide my elements real quick. Um, So here is the actual artwork that I was using. As you could tell, it wasn't colored. Um, it was just an outline. And um, we're going to be working with this a little bit. But I wanted to go ahead and um, fill it in so that we can um, work on you know, doing the outlines. So... Um, one of the ways that you will see me do a lot of my outlines is I will come over here to the, the little like magic wand and um, I will right click and make sure that this is selected. And when I do, I will come in here and I will hit an outline and say apply. And as you see over here, it's got tons and tons of little pieces. And if you look at them and follow them along, they're not necessarily all connected the way you would think they would be because it's just skipping over these parts that are going in here, which, you know, there's no telling exactly where, you know, they may be. Anyway, so how I would do this is myself I would select all of the black parts do a transform and do an arrange outline parts with no connections um, that's just the way I do it you can do arrange outline parts uh, either one so also if you um, wanted to use these over here it's the same tool so if I hover over here you'll see arrange outline parts with no connections and arrange, arrange outline parts and the, the no connections is basically like if you've got areas that it needs to jump to and how it does that is I guess my more understanding of this Additionally, when it's like this, if you wanted to, you could go in and say parameters. And instead of a single stitch, say you wanted a red work. And we're going to say OK. I'm not going to generate the stitches yet because I'm just, I'm not. But I want the final stitch that goes on top to be a red work. So I will use the arrange outline parts no connections I'll do this right here and as you see they all become one thing and I'm going to generate the stitches so let's go into simulation mode and you will see that it's doing the red work aspect of it you can tell that when it's doing the the back and forth let me try to get this on a super slow mode when it's doing this back and forth that is the red work so you're going to have you know the single run and then it's going to come back and do the red work outline which is going to make it a little bit bolder okay so that is basically like the branching tr tool that or the tree uh, that you will see now let's I look at things some other way okay so we're going to go ahead and delete this and say I'm going to select all of my green pieces and I'm going to go transform auto outliner and it says outline elements created successfully do you want to arrange them into a compact outline now I'm going to say no. I have them all selected here. I'm actually going to go into the parameters and I'm going to do 
red work again. You could leave them as the single run. That's fine. I'm also, I can either do arrange outline parts or arrange outline parts with no connections. I always just do no connections. So we will do this here. And as you will see, now your outline, and let me hide all of these. So your outline is green now because it took the color when you did the auto outliner it took the color of the element that you were doing okay so let's generate the stitches and do the simulation real quick of these so as you'll see it's doing the red work so you can either have the single run you know which will make a true double run or a, a run and then back on itself or it'll do the single run and then the red work on top of it. I think that just gives it a little bit more oomph. Okay. So we're going to unhide all of these elements. We're just going to say show all. And we're going to move, say, the oranges up to the front because we don't necessarily want to stitch the green part then switch the or stitch the carrots and then go back and outline the leaves on there so the same thing can happen here for the carrots we can do transform auto outliner and again it's going to ask uh, if i wanted a compact outline i'm going to say no okay i'm going to put these right here and say parameters and I'm going to do my red work and I'll say okay and I'm going to generate my stitches now let's hide the carrots here one thing you will see with these and I'll do my arranging is that it just outlined it didn't create any of this detail right in here now if that's what you want let's unhide everything if that's what you want that's fine but you're you're missing some of that detail now let's hide the outline for a second if you look at this this outline is like pretty much spot on or maybe just a little bit inside and that's one of the things that you want to do when you're outline try to have it just a slight hair smaller now let's try something else okay so we're gonna we're going to delete these outlines or at least we're going to delete the orange or orange part we're going to leave the green one because i actually like the way that one turned out okay so let's just go ahead and delete the orange now we're going to look at the thing again and i'm going back to the little magic tool right click and verify that i have my outline and I'm going to do the outline portion again. And I'm going to say generate or apply. Okay, so I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all of this. Now I see these parts up here that are part of the outline. Since I've already got this done in the green up here um, I'm going to delete these parts so I'm just going to select one and delete it select one delete actually it's better to do it if you do in 3d mode so you don't see your artwork and just go ahead and delete this one off because I've already got it in the green which is the color I want So 
so now I just have the outline of the carrots that's remaining okay so again what I'm going to do is select them I'm going to change the parameters and make them a red work say okay and I'm going to do the arrange outlines no connections again and then I'll generate the stitches and you'll see it as black but if I don't want it black that I want it the same color as the carrot I can change the color now I say I want the same orange say okay but then say if I want to make it a little bit different of a color just to be able to make it stand out a little bit more I'll make it a darker orange and while you can't really see it here that much when when you stitch it out and the color is a little bit different you would be able to tell so now let's just unhide everything and you've got your little outlined in this instance carrot so hopefully that's going to help with uh, using the auto outliner and the branching tool um, there are multiple ways of doing things in Embered and that's actually why I like it so much um, so I until today I've I've never actually used the transform auto outliner before but that's just me I always you know if I'm gonna do it that way I'll do it over here so anyway that's it for today if you have any other questions let me know and we will talk to you later bye